Prophet Muhammad in Hadith Muslim says, He, the Dajjal, would appear on the way between Syria and Iraq, and would spread mischief right and left. Theologically, some believe the above Hadith refers to the Antichrist who symbolizes the state of Israel that creates havoc in the Islamic world. How is this viewpoint presented? This particular Hadith is narrated by an Nawas bin Saman and describes the Dajjal's appearance, the chaos he will cause, and his emergence between Syria and Iraq. Some theologians interpret this Hadith symbolically, and they identify the Dajjal with the state of Israel, which was established in 1948 in Palestine, a land that lies between Syria and Iraq. They argue that Israel is the false Messiah who claims to be the chosen people of God and the rightful inheritors of the Holy Land, but in reality, they are the enemies of God and His true believers. They also claim that Israel is the source of many conflicts and wars in the Middle East and the world, and that they oppress and persecute the Muslims and the Palestinians in particular. According to this interpretation, the Hadith implies that the Dajjal will appear in the end times, when the religious commitment of the Muslims is low and their knowledge has decreased. He will deceive many people with his signs and wonders, and he will have a large following of Jews and others who will support him, he will attempt to conquer the entire world and establish his kingdom from the holy city of Jerusalem. He will also wage war against the true Messiah, Jesus son of Mary, peace be upon him, who will descend from heaven to lead the Muslims and defeat the Dajjal. The Dajjal will be killed by Jesus near the gate of Lud Lod in Palestine, and his followers will be annihilated. Then, peace and justice will prevail on earth and the Muslims will rule with Jesus in the holy city of Jerusalem until the day of judgment.